Some students prefer to study alone. Others prefer to study with a group of students. Which do you prefer? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. When someone is studying, he is not just reading the content of a book. One has to concentrate and get involved if he wants to grasp the things he is reading about and imprint it in his memory. We can study on two ways, by learning alone or learning within a group. Both ways have their pros and cons. Advantages of group learning arise from the fact that group members are different among one another. They also do not have the same knowledge. So when a problem arises, every group member will look at the problem from his point of view and offer a different solution. But there are also many disadvantages of group learning. If group members learn at different pace, those who learn faster will be bored when they have to wait for others who learn slower. Also those who learn slower will feel despondent because of inferiority complex. Also sometimes group members may start talking about something that has nothing to do with the topic that they are studying and waste valuable time. The main advantage of studying alone is that you have the freedom to study at your own pace and you do not have to wait for anybody. Also, some subjects require very quiet environment for good contemplation, like mathematics and physics. Quiet environment is of paramount importance for good contemplation of those kind of subjects. Furthermore, when a student is studying alone, he must think. When he faces a problem, there is no one else around him to offer a solution in instead of him. He must think for himself. If he does not know the answer, he must read a lot of different books and do research. So self-study improves research ability. Also in a group study, usually each student gives only one solution to a problem for usually each student looks at a problem from only one point of view or from one angle. When a student is solving a problem alone, he must look at a problem from all possible angles. This improves thinking and also forces a student to do a lot more reading and ferreting. Finally, in the real world, we are often confronted with situations which we must solve on our own. Usually there will be no one to help us. So studying alone and researching on our own can prepare us for the real world. Though studying in a group has some pros, like solving problems faster, improving teamwork, friendship and collegiality, I prefer to be self-reliant. I prefer to study alone, since on that way I can get a proper sense of what my weaknesses are and get to work on overcoming them.